Hi folks, Mike here from Random Acts of Cooking and three words. Reverse sear chicken? Let me show you. Hope it works. Okay, I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Eight of them by my count. We're going to first season those with Grillmates Tennessee Whiskey Chicken Rub. And let, the, let this set for oh maybe about 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll get to the next step. We'll let these sit here for a few minutes while I go get the pellet smoker ready uh, back. Okay, you probably saw this next step coming, but uh, these uh, hunks of chicken meat are going to get wrapped in bacon. Looks like we're going to have enough bacon to do each of these pieces of chicken with two slices of bacon. Okay, now we have our chicken wrapped in two slices of thin cut bacon each. We're just going to dabble just a little bit more of that seasoning on top of the bacon. Alright, that'll do it. Out to the smoker we go. Okay, we have our smoker, pellet smoker set on high smoke which is about 220 degrees, something like that. A couple of extra pieces of bacon we'll cook out here. Now we'll set the, all these pieces of chicken on there. We're going to cook these to an internal temperature of 155, 155, because the next step is going to be a sear, which will bring the internal temperature up another 10 degrees. At least that's my uh, my hope anyway. We'll measure it though just to make sure. Alright, that's it for now. We'll see you when they get up there. All right. Okay, I just checked the temperature. We're up to about 155-ish on each of these pieces. So now I want to get these off and we're going to get ready for the next step which is the sear I hope it's going to work. As you can see, we have a new addition to the family. I got the sear box to put on the uh, side of my uh, Camp Chef Smoke Pro. So now it's kind of like a Camp Chef woodwind. But uh, anyway, uh, I've got this on. It's hot right now. I've got it in a medium setting. I don't know how hot that is. But what we're going to do is put these on there and give it just about a minute or so or less and then I'm going to flip these over and get the sear going here it's actually been just a little less than a minute I've got to check this and I'm going to flip these over I don't want to overcook them I just want to try to crisp the bacon up a little bit oh that is hot all right, maybe just a little less than a minute there now. They're almost done. The internal temperature is getting up there. Then one more little quick flip. All right, I'm going to say these are done. Do another quick test of the temperature just to make sure. Oh yeah, we're 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 done. All right, let me get these off of here, and then we'll go see what they taste like. All right, this has been setting for just uh, about five minutes. <clears throat> I did check the temperature. We are up to over 165, or we got over 165. It might have started to come down a little bit now. Alright, so this is a reverse sear chicken. Plenty juicy. I tell you, it smells great. Of course, it's got bacon. It has to smell great. There we go. Juicy. 
juicy, tender. All right, let's do a taste test. That noise in the background is the microwave. I've got the rest of the dinner warming up in there. <clears throat> anyway, this is my taste test. That's the chicken. Bacon wrapped, slow smoked, and then seared on the uh, Camp Chef sear box. It smells great. Chicken thighs. Best way to cook chicken. So tender and juicy. Love the flavor. The bacon is actually a little bit crispy on the outside, which is what I was going for. That, all right, you know this works. It was even though it was a, a flare-up uh, mess out there trying to do the bacon on that sear box, it worked. It got a little bit crispy. That's what I was working for. All right, I'm gonna say this worked. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.